today we're looking again at a poem um, and uh, uh, Stephen Green is with us. Thanks Andy. Well um, this is uh, actually the fourth of uh, uh, that we've done in this Lenten period and the, this one is by R.S. Thomas who was a Welsh poet. Uh, he was born in 1913 I think I'm right in saying and died in the year 2000 and uh, was for all of his working life um, an Anglican clergyman. Um, he's uh, become more and more famous um, as the years have gone by for his poetry and we're going to look at one uh, now uh, which is just called The Other with a capital O, The Other. There are nights that are so still that I can hear the small owl calling far off and a fox barking miles away. It is then that I lie in the lean hours awake, listening to the swell born somewhere in the Atlantic, rising and falling, rising and falling, wave on wave, on the long shore by the village that is without light and companionless. And the thought comes of that other being who is awake too, letting our prayers break on him, not like this for a few hours, but for days, for years, for eternity. Thank you, Simon. And you sort of want to pause at the end of it and not say anything at all, don't you? It's a short poem. I think it's such a uh, such an evocative one when we can all of us imagine ourselves in that position. How many of us have not at some point or another uh, woken up in the middle of the night um, and, and thought, you know, what are we doing? What is the meaning of it all? Um, and I suspect we can all imagine, some, as it were, being in his position, standing and listening to the waves breaking, hearing the waves, wave after wave, and that kind of repetitive movement of the, of the sea that we all, we all recognise. And it builds up to this pointed, poignant climax. Uh, the, the waves breaking are like the prayers breaking on the God who listens, not just once, not just for hours, but for all eternity. I'm struck, Stephen, by the sense almost of inversion in the poem, there's almost redemption, that um, at the beginning he talks about this, this experience that we all know of insomnia. And then at the end, though, it draws him to the point where he's actually thinking of God who's awake, not out of frustration, <laughs> but actually out of purpose. And that those almost pointlessly repetitive waves are turned into incredibly poignant repetitive prayers yeah exactly uh, and i think it's i think it speaks to so many of us uh, it, it, it's well known uh, uh, that if you wake up in the middle of the night um, those are those are the times when the human spirit is so so often at its lowest mm -hmm. um, and and he takes that moment and he converts it, as you say, into a listening to those ways which in turn bring to his mind the sense that for all of our um, dispiritedness in the middle of the night, God is there and we are, uh, our prayers break on him and God is always there. And the always means not just kind of everlastingly, but for all eternity. It's, it's, it, takes, it takes us from an ordinary human experience into a glimpse into the eternal and i think it speaks to the condition uh, that we all know some of the time when we're not sure what we're doing when we're when we when we're afraid when we are in in a state of depression as many of us experience one time or another through our lives um, this is rs thomas this is this is not easy cheer um, it's hard won um, but, but the sense of the presence of God, the sense of the transcendent, overarching presence of God never vanishes. He never, sometimes he fears he's losing it, but he never does. There's a, there's a hint 
of both the stability of God and, and that you can totally trust him, but also that we can just launch ourselves on him through our prayers, um, with our questions and our, and our rest, our struggles. And we can do it for days, you know, and it, yeah. it, it's okay. God can take it. Yeah. God can take it. Listening. A bit like, you know, the waves are always there. Whatever we do, whatever mood we're in, whatever's going on in our lives, mm. the waves are still there and the waves are the metaphor for that continuing presence of God. It's a great reminder. Thank you, Stephen. Um, in our troubled times, I think it's good to be reminded that um, there's a there's a solid, unchanging nature to God that is not hard and unapproachable, but incredibly reassuring. And we yeah. can just cast ourselves on him, um, knowing that he'll be there and that he hears our prayers and responds. Even at our lowest spiritual points. 